Good day, everybody. I'm Dr. Daryl Wolf, and first I just want to say thank you for letting us come into your homes, for trusting us. You know, one of the main things in life is, is, is that we always want to feel safe, right? Safety. You know, and one of the biggest things that you always want is you want to feel safe in your home. You want to feel safe with your friends. You want to feel safe at work. So I want to thank you for letting us into your homes. And you know what? If this is your first time watching me, I hope you really enjoy it and you get something out of it. I will tell you this much that I do push the envelope. Why do I push the envelope? I'm going to tell you why. I push the envelope because I want you to have the best that you can have. I want you to be to have everything in your life that you dreamed of or at least help you to head in that direction. So if I was the same as everyone else, why would you want to watch me? If I was if I spoke the same thing as everybody else, why would you want to listen to me? And in this day and age, unless there's a little bit of shock and awe sometimes, unless we're pushing the envelope, we can't get in here to the subconscious mind. I can't wake people up. You know, take a look at the people that are in your home. Take a look at the people in your life. Tell me that those people, okay, are alert. Most people are not alert because of the EMF, because of the Wi-Fi, because of the carbs they eat, the sugars they eat, because they're, they've got monkey mind and they're exhausting themselves. So. What I want to attempt to do over the next, not just over the next hour, but over the next few years, is I want to reach those people that want to be reached. Listen, I understand something. I understand that um, I piss some people off. I understand that I push things. And I understand that some people will embrace it and some people will run from it because their belief systems don't match mine or their belief systems are so staunch that they won't let me in. Now understand, and this is the biggest thing that I want you to truly understand is guess what? For me, it's all about the love. I believe that love is the answer and self-love is the cure. And self-care is the only health care that will ever happen and happen to give you permanent health for the rest of your life. So that's why we need to be trained to understand ourselves, to love ourselves, to embrace ourselves. First and foremost, okay? So this is what I'm all about. And understand something, that love doesn't know religion. It doesn't, there's no specific religion for love. There's no specific color for love. There's no specific creed or nationality for love, you know? Whether people want to believe it or not, we all came from the same place and we're all going to return back to that same place. And I know there's people out there that have different stories in their heads, but we're all one. And as soon as we realize that and that love is the answer and that there should not be any boundaries. And when you do realize that, then you won't hold judgment against people. You allow people to believe in what they need to believe in. And you know what? If everybody is right, then everybody's got to be wrong. So I say that let's allow people to believe in what they believe in. And if they're not harming you and if they're creating good, that's what we need to do and understand something. You know what the craziest thing is when it comes to life and emotions is people actually come here and they get upset. They get upset because man is at war with himself. Well, man's been at war since the beginning man was created and the planet was created. Man has always been at war with himself. Man will always be at war with himself. There's a war on cancer. There's a war on terror. There's a war on drugs, you know? And then we have another sector of the population wants to get angry at the medical system or they want to get angry at chemtrails or they want to get angry at the government. Well, you know what? This is planet Earth. Planet Earth is a life-threatening adventure for the whole family that you better learn how to play the rules to this game. And if you don't, that's where your emotions will cause a lot of commotion in your life. That's why we need to understand who we really are. So anyways, today's lecture is emotional issues in your tissues. Now, 
this guy's got a headache and he probably has it every Friday because of all week working because he's out there and it's very competitive and he's got to do his best and he probably overanalyzes things and he fears that he's not good enough, you know, or at least better than the next guy sitting beside him. And then this little guy here, he's got a headache. Why does he have a headache? Because mommy and daddy are dysfunctional, okay? Because mommy and daddy fight, they fight over money, okay? And he probably feels that, you know, he's part of the money problems, you know? Or mommy says, get him to listen, and daddy has to make him listen. So, and then we've got mommy, and she's going, where's the love? And how do I fix my family? And she's all frustrated. And whether we believe this or not, we have trained women to basically suffer as much as their men and as much as their children, so or even more. And a good mother will always suffer at least the same amount as her children and her man until there's nothing left of her, until there's a shell. So there's a part of the breast cancer answer. You know, there's, there's so much that we need to really take a look at that I like to call the family curse. Anyways, let's move on. So, as you can tell, um, I've got a busy kind of uh, upcoming, but you know, it slows down a little bit in July and August. I've got a radio show coming up on July the 4th, and that radio show you can listen. If you can get KPFK, it's out of Los Angeles, and they have 600,000 people listening to that radio show, and I will be on that radio show 1 o'clock next Tuesday, okay? All right, and then... Um, in August, I will be doing Health from the Inside Out webinar, okay? And then August the 27th, I will be in Michigan at the Cancer Prevention Convention uh, with Ty Bollinger, Robert Scott Bell, and uh, Dr. Jimenez from the uh, Hope for Cancer Institute, which is probably the, the only hospital that I would ever go to if I got myself in trouble, okay? Or if I had somebody in my family with cancer, um, I would not risk going anywhere else. I think that they probably are the leading cancer hospital, definitely in North America and maybe in the world, because I don't know all the hospitals in the world. But it's a natural health um, cancer hospital, and it's a leader in the field. All right, so that's August the 27th. So sep September the 9th to the 15th, Whole Life Coach Certification. And then on September 17th to the 21st, Third is our Wolf Deep Tissue Certification, and you can come and take them both. And uh, we have accommodation here, and people come from all over the world to take our courses. Check out our courses on itioh.com, along with uh, um, our Braveheart course that'll be coming up in November as well. Okay, um, in October, the Truth About Cancer Summit. Um, my lecture there is called. Uh, um, time bomb to a tumor. So I guess you know what that lecture is about. And it's, it's, about, it's about inflammation, pain, scar tissue, emotions, and how we get energy blocks in the body. Those energy blocks, because images create thoughts, thoughts create uh, energy, energy creates emotion, and emotion creates things. So I'll be lecturing about that. It'll be 45 minutes long, and I don't know the date, but it's in Orlando, Florida, if you can make it, okay? And also, when I'm in Orlando, Florida, if you know anyone, I will be doing deep tissue treatments, and I'll also be doing uh, whole life consultations and nutritional consultations. I'll be there for five days. So if you want, call the office and we'll book you in, okay? Next thing, non-surgical aesthetic certification is November the 4th. This is a three-day intensive course about how to do uh, breast lift, face lift, and uh, um, how to clear the pelvis of fibroids, the breast of fibroids, how to drain the breast of any type of inflammation, infection, how to break down the scar tissue deep within the face to actually create a, a, a real facelift, okay? Because when you break down the scar tissue in the deeper layers, that allows the nerve supply, that allows, allows the circulation to come to the superficial muscles, and that's how you create a youthful looking facelift that's gonna last for a long time. Okay, all right. Um, so next, Braveheart online training is uh, November, November the fourth. And um, for those of you that are watching tonight, 
If you want, you can get a $50 off on the Braveheart training. It's a five day training. So it happens Saturday and Sunday, five hours each. And then two weeks later, we meet again, Saturday and Sunday, five hours each online with me. And then again, we meet a week later for five hours. So it comes out to about 25 hours. And then we meet every two weeks for advanced training in Braveheart. And what Braveheart's actually about, it's about breaking away from corporations, breaking away from the media, ending the family curse, actually creating 98% joy in your life instead of only 2%. And I'm telling you that we can do this. I don't know if you know me or you've been watching my stuff, but I am what I am. And, um, and that is, is that I live in the present moment and I do have not have any fears that I'm aware of, okay? So think about this. If you didn't have the average fear of fear, I mean, fears like most people do, like fear, doubt, and worry, things that really get in the way of your life, right? And you actually realized who you were and you knew who you were and that you have the ability to create whatever you want. You just have to allow it and see it and be it. And that's what we're going to teach in the Braveheart course. And anyone who takes the whole life course, they get the whole life certification. They actually get the Braveheart for free. Okay. All right. Um, and then in Mexico, we're doing a full certification of, of the whole life coach, Wolf Deep Tissue, non-surgical aesthetics. And we'll be wrapping the Braveheart up into that as well. So that'll be three weeks in Mexico and we'll let everybody know what that is. Okay. So now... For this week, um, free two-week daily cleansing tea with the purchase of best-selling Healthy to 100 book, uh, paperback book. And remember that it's free shipping anywhere in North America with the book, okay? All right. And the next thing is, is that our Silver Bullet uh, Gel Spray and Silver Solution is 25% off. Check it out. It's amazing for eye infection, inflammation, sunburns, eczema, psoriasis, and so many other things. And remember that that silver is the strongest natural antibiotic on the planet, okay? And it's and it's also stronger than any antibiotic, you know? And when you and with silver, you're not going to take any risks or any chances of injuring any of your bacteria and your bacteria are make up 80% of your immune system. All right, so um, also, like I was saying, $50 off Braveheart online training. Check it out at itioh.com and it starts November the 4th and it's a 33 day uh, program. And before you start the course, we will be sending you out a protocol and sending you out some information so you can start working on this so that we can work towards creating the best training ever. Okay. All right. Now, um, if you'd like, please go to my website to um, docofdetox.com forward slash belly button therapy. Please check this out. I am going to be doing a video and a webinar on this. This dates back thousands of years. This is how to open up your root chakra. And remember something, this is your core here and uh, what we're going to do is, is we're going to show you a technique that doesn't take more than five minutes twice a day and it will help you release and relax even more than yoga can. It will help you get rid of pain and inflammation throughout your whole body and it's all about working and a technique with the belly button. This is amazing guys and I'm going to be putting this into all my courses and I'm using it in my... Uh, um, in our abdominal lift and everything else we do, we use this before we work on a patient. When a patient comes in and we're gonna do deep tissue, we do the belly button therapy first for five minutes, okay? So um, understand that this is revolutionary and um, remember something, that's your root chakra. Your root chakra is the base of where all and most of your energy is generated, okay? And in the uh, field of yoga, people would call that the Kundalini. And for other people that don't understand energy, they would say that it's just the energy that runs up your spine and you can increase the flow of circulation and everything like that. Okay, so check it out. It's uh, rejuvenate, it rejuvenates the immune system. 
uh, digestion, it helps to balance uh, your hormones, increase blood circulation, and so much more. All right, so today's lecture. Welcome to Earth Trip Fantasy Theme Park. Now, I'm not gonna go into this in great detail, and when I tell stories, I tell stories for a reason, because if I actually tell stories, it gets it across better. If I tell what I believe, right? And when I tell you about something that I believe, and if you find that you're in judgment of me, then you might want to take a look at your beliefs, okay? Because there are millions of people with millions of different beliefs down here. And when we came down here, we got to have a choice. So everybody gets to have a choice. And when I say this, I choose to be true to myself no matter what those consequences are. If I try to live someone else's life or I continually tippy toe and I'm not allowed to tell my truth, then the consequences are that I am not honoring myself. So when I tell my truth, it may tweak other people because their belief systems do not match mine. So I would say to those people, you don't have to believe what I believe, but let's not condemn other people for other beliefs because that is what's got us into trouble on this planet, okay? So when I say that welcome to Earth Trip Fantasy Theme Park, what I'm saying is, is that the ride is either gonna be great or it's going to be a life-threatening adventure for the whole family. If you don't understand the rules, take a look at your family. Take a look at the way that you operate. Look at the way that you operate with yourself, your operating system, meaning your GPS, meaning your emotions. See how often you go up and down like a roller coaster ride each and every day, all right? How smooth is that? You know, when you feel conflict, anxiety, nervousness, fear, did you know you only have three seconds to make a decision whether that's going to become what? Excitement or anxiety? Did you know that both of those release the same type of hormones to, no, they have the same type of, um, they have the same type of energy, but depending on what you decide, whether it's going to be excitement or nervousness, it will either release healing hormones or it'll release things like cortisol and adrenaline when they go into you. They just tear your body apart and you feel like you've been hit by a truck, okay? So what we wanna do, what if we could actually have a family where we don't nitpick anymore? What if we actually had a family that when we, when we feel like we're um, not feeling good today, oh, geez, what's wrong? I don't know, I'm miserable, I just don't feel good today. Well, actually, I'll tell you what's wrong. That person, it's just time for them to have a drama moment. You got me, a drama moment, because we all run pain bodies. So what they'll do is they come home a little bit grumpy, they push a certain button that they know that they can get you off a of edge. Then you go and you react. Instead of taking action and going, honey, please come give me a hug. You react the same old way you always do, which causes them to react. So then you can both, you know, um, confirm that life sucks, right? And then walk away. And then one of you is going to come back and go, I'm sorry, please, I love you. It gets all pretty mucky, eh? So what if we could actually diffuse all that? What if I told you that every argument that you have with your loved ones, actually you're not having it to prove a point. You're only doing it because your belief systems dictate that, but you don't realize it yet. <coughs> so who am I? Do you really know who you are? Are your belief systems that you have yours or are your belief systems that you have inherited from your mom and dad your teachers your peers uh the people that you met at different organizations whether it's the church whether it's the boy scouts the clubs uh or the cubs i mean it or how about watching tv and watching the way dysfunctional people uh interact on sitcoms and uh, watching commercials that are continually selling you drugs and everything you don't need, but you're telling me that that never affects you. Well, you know what? 
nobody can watch or do something or get involved with something on a continual basis and not become part of that. So that's the first thing, okay? So who am I? Without self-love, you will never have self-realization and self-awareness. You know, because, and when I say that, understand something. People look outside themselves all the time for recognition, uh, for approval. Um, and, you know, they look at their family to give them a pat on the back or give them a boost. And I'm not telling you that it's wrong to have that. I'm telling you that if you need it, you're in trouble. Because when your family's not there, that's when you get depressed, that's when you get upset, that's when you get upset with them and they don't even know why you're upset, but they don't have the energy that day to boost you up, to pick you up, to hold you up, right? And that's why I'm saying that healthcare is a self-care job and love is a, self, is a self-serving job. You need to fill your heart up first and foremost with love from yourself so that you can be the light for your family. And I know when I say this, there's people out there right now that are going, I only need my creator. My creator does everything. Well, I will tell you something. Okay. I know who created me and I know what I believe in. And I know I would not exist if it wasn't for that. But I also know that it's teamwork. I know that when I get into my victim phase and I can pray, pray, pray all day, things don't turn out well. But when I get into my hero phase and I teamwork with my creator, my prayers come to me. So that's the difference. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about teamwork makes the dream work because this is a dream, all right? And it's a game. And we need to learn how to play the rules. And the main ingredient is love. Okay. So where is the love? So understand something, everybody's looking for it and everybody's scared of it because everybody's been injured from it. So if you don't want to get injured from it, then you need to stop looking for what approval and you got to stop taking things personal and you've got to cut corporations out of your life. You got to cut the media out of your life and you got to hug a tree. You got to get back to nature. The more the technology's in your life, the more nature's out of your life. And what do you think's happening with this new generation? This new generation, okay, is become really techno savvy, but their relationships are falling off a cliff. I have younger people working for me and I'm trying to teach these younger people that work for me how to communicate because they don't know how to communicate. If I told them that all they had to do was text each other, they would believe that that was communication. They don't believe that communication is asking for help a lot of them won't even call to ask for help. They won't ask somebody else in the office for help. They won't make a phone number to ask for help. They'll sit there for hours because they don't want to tell anybody that they don't understand something because they have low self-esteem to begin with. And if they have to ask for help, then it feels like they're stupid. So do you see, this is the problem that we're getting into. We need to work together. I mean, Listen, I make a hundred mistakes a day. I ask a hundred questions every day. I ask my staff what they think about different things that I'm doing on a continual basis because I need their input. We need to work together to move forward. We need to stop feeling hurt because we hurt others. We need to stop feeling injured because when you're injured, you walk with a limp. And if you were in Africa and you were part of a herd, you might get taken down by a lion because you're a straggler. A, stra a straggler, well, there you go, <laughs> because you're the last one in the pack. All right, okay, so where's the love? Well, it's always been about you. You need to look inside before you look outside, all right? And this is what I say, technology, right, okay? So the thing is, is that nature never changes. It's always beautiful. It's always there for you. It's always consistent, right? Technology is man-made. So anything that man makes is going to break, right? Remember something, God does not create junk. All right. Man creates junk stuff that breaks all the time. And I really wish my staff would stop running around in front of me. Okay. All right. So 
Who are you? Is this you? Or is this you? Now, believe it or not, this person here is a beautiful person. This person here is a beautiful person. There are no bad people. There are bad belief systems. Now, her belief systems are that she has no control, that she does not know how to master her life, that she does not approve of herself, probably. She feels she has no value, right? So nothing looks great. Everything looks desperate. But if you were to meet this person, you would know that they feel desperate, that they will take what we might call, and I mean this in the best way, they would take scraps of love. They will take any love because they don't feel they have value. So whatever's left over, they'll take it. They'll take love even if it comes with a kick and a punch, right? And this is where the crime is. If there is such a thing as a sin, it's the sin of not knowing how to love yourself enough to trust, honor, respect, protect it. Because that's the foundation. Isn't it great to be with someone who who just you can feel their the energy come off of them and they feel you can tell they're stable, they're secure, and when the waves get a little bit rocky, you know, they just sit there and they breathe and they relax? Or do you like being with people that no matter what happens, there's they're reactive? Come on, they're in every family. Or how about the person that comes home and dramatizes a story? So about, or how about the mom and dad that watch the news that take all the news around the world and put it all in a half an hour and make our world look like it's hell on earth. And then you go to bed and have nightmares or you can't sleep or you wonder why you think that the world is an evil place. It's what you focus on. All I know is, is my world is beautiful. All I know is my world is full of love. All I know is, is that we're never going to end starvation on this world. Man's not going to, that's for sure. He created it. All right. All I know is, is that things aren't going to change outside of myself. So I need to change, be the light. And hopefully I create a ripple effect to help other people believe that they deserve joy. That's it. That's it. So her belief systems are dysfunctional. Okay. She has a subconscious. All right. That has corrupted belief systems more than she has belief systems inside that say, ah, okay, I'm going to fall down, but I'm going to fall forward. I'm not going to fall down and fall backward and cause a concussion every time. Cause that will kill you after a while. Now the same thing can happen to her is happened to her. And guess what? This is her and this is her. So everybody can have the same thing happen to them, but they're going to evaluate the situation differently. One person's going to be upset for 30 seconds. That's my limit, 30 seconds. The next person is going to be an hour. The next person could be a lifetime. I'm never talking to them again. That's it. You know, I had a client today and she might be on tonight. And uh, um, the, her mother um, knew that a relative was pregnant and they had a baby and she was talking to her yesterday and she called and the mother said, Oh, did you know that so-and-so was pregnant and had a baby? And the, instead of her going and going, wow, really? What's its name or sh her name? And how much does she weigh? And do you have any pictures? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me they were pregnant? Why didn't you tell me? So right away she went to the victim mode right? Because her and her mother have always had that relationship and her mother unconsciously held the information back because that gives her power. Okay. And then what happened was, is this whole thing goes down and then the person I'm talking about feels powerless and angry and not loved. So that just helps to reinforce the belief system that she's not worthy. So we talked about it today and, and it's over now because she didn't even understand that that's what was going on. And then when she looked at it, she went, oh, now I had to explain it like four or five different ways because your subconscious never talks to your conscious mind. Your conscious mind only talk, can talk to your subconscious, but it's got to talk to your subconscious mind hundreds of times just to get one point across because your subconscious mind says, I'm here to protect you. I'm not letting anything in unless you repeat it 
hundreds of times, thousands of times with passion and with purpose. And until you do that, it is not getting over the wall, under the wall. I am stopping it. So your subconscious will take you down if you don't understand. Okay. All right. So what's more important? What you feed, what we feed our bodies or what we feed our minds. I will tell you something that your body is an extension of what's going on in your mind. So if you don't know how to process your emotions through your heart, then you are a land mine. You are a landmine. Okay. So if you process through your mind, then you're only using past information, which got you into this mess. So you're only going to get stay in this mess or even make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, because that's what the universe does is send you bigger lessons until you get the reality that love is the answer. Self love is the cure because as soon as you honor yourself, you will see. So the next time that you feel, um, like you're losing it. I want you to put your hands over your heart in prayer mode or over your heart like this. And I want you to breathe in five seconds, breathe out five seconds and do that six times. And I don't care what the crisis is. You're not going to go there. You're not going to be reactive and cause a mess or just get everybody else. So, blown out of shape because that's what we do to it, right? Did you hear it? Did you hear what's going on? Oh, really? 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 We do it because we crave the adrenaline rush. We are um, fear, anxiety, conflict, junkies. Okay. All right. So what you feed your mind will create the body and the experience that you have in your life. So you need to know how to do that. So images equal thoughts, thoughts create emotions, right? You cannot have a thought without an image. We see in movies in our mind, we do. So you can't have a, a, a thought without an image, right? And you cannot have an emotion without a thought. So what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about how, how blessed you are? Are you thinking about how grateful you are? all the wonderful things. Are you thinking about that? You're going to, you are going to live forever, you know, and that when people pass this planet that you will be with them again someday, or do you think about how it's over when people leave? Do you think about that, that your life will be over forever on this planet? Do you think about how you're not going to have enough money, enough food? You're not going to have enough clothing. You're not going to get enough love from your family or you can't trust the world. So whatever your focus is on, that's the movie you're creating. You're the writer, you're the director, you're the producer, you're the critic. And I'm telling you something, people are pretty hard critics on their life, aren't they? They're really critical on themselves. People have what we would call conditional love for themselves. You need to have unconditional love. I don't really remember getting a manual when I came down here. I've always done the best I could. I have, I have smoked, toked, drank, done, I've done drugs, I've lied, I've cheated, I've stolen, I've done it all. And I don't need your approval. Okay. I don't need your approval. And I am, and also I've let myself off the hook because everybody's done it. So I don't care how many times I fall, long as I fall forward, long as I get up, long as I keep going forward and I grow. You know what? I've, you tell me one time in my, in your life when guilt has suited a purpose that it has helped you and your family grow together. You tell me when guilt has given you more energy. Tell me when guilt or fear or doubt has created a healing in your family and has, has made life better. Okay. Remember something. You don't have to be smart to be a millionaire. You just have to believe that you can do it. Tell me that all millionaires are geniuses. And I'll tell you that. Go and grab an, uh, uh, one of those um, Hollywood rag mags and then tell me that they're all geniuses. Okay? End of story. All right? So whatever you believe in yourself, if you, you know what? You know who thinks about money the most? People who are poverty conscious. 
That's who thinks about money the most because they think about all the money they're never going to have or all the money that's too hard to get. So whatever you think about the most, that's what you're going to get. See, in my little fairy tale story, God said to me, he said, Daryl, just one big thing when you go down there. And that is this, whatever you think about the most, I'm going to give you more of. And I'm going to tell you, in my lifetime, there was times when I was focusing on the wrong things and I didn't even want to be here anymore. So understand that. And then when I started focusing on what I want and what I truly desired and I feel like I deserve it and I allowed it, that's it. It's game over. All right, so just know this. Emotions create energy. Energy creates things, right? So, so thought without image is impossible. It isn't scientifically impossible to have a thought without an image. Oh, and I'll tell you something too. Are you ready for this? This was actually a study done where they can actually have a picture and it was facing the person here. There was another person facing you and the picture was only seen by the person and say, okay, he would just go like this, pick it up and then he would go like this and he would look at it. That person looking at the picture, if it was a negative one, the heart would respond. If it was a positive one, the heart would respond five seconds before they even showed the picture to the person. The heart knows everything. They did a study where they actually took, uh, and you know how everything is off of vibration, right? Because if you're alive, you've got vibration, you've got heat, you've got energy coming off of it, you've got frequencies coming off of you. And they actually studied every part of the body. And guess what? Only one part of the body that when they went to study how far the frequency went, they couldn't measure it because it went too far. And that was the heart. There is no measurement that can that can actually um, calculate how far the frequency goes. Okay, so either you do the brainwashing or others will do it for you and you think you're in charge. Let me tell you something. When I say this, I mean this the best way possible. I meet, an, I meet what's called maybe an enlightened person, okay, once every two to three years. I mean an enlightened person. Now, am I telling you I'm an enlightened person? No, I'm working on it, okay? I will tell you this much, that only one out of 10,000 people ever become what we might call enlightened. So take a look around. Take a look at who you work with. Take a people in the family. What are their choices they're making? Even with their food, how they talk, what they watch on TV what they actually do for themselves, what they don't do for themselves. And start asking why about everything. When somebody tells you to do something, say why. Ask yourself why you do what you do, why you talk like you talk, why you think like you think, why you say the things to your children the way you do. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself if it's a belief system that you got from your parents that doesn't work. Ask yourself if maybe you should have a new belief system based on self-love from you so that you can create a vibration that will finally end the family curse. So if you don't want to do the brainwashing, don't worry, the media will do it for you. Corporations will do it for you. We need to wake up. We need to show up. We need to grow up. And I mean grow up because here's the deal. When a baby has a, when a, baby has a tantrum, all right, it might even get spanked, right? And a baby can have a tantrum maybe once or twice a day. But just know this, if the baby has a tantrum once or twice a day, there's a good chance that one or both of the parents have a behavioral problem. A behavioral problem, which means that they're always in a tantrum situation. So we go from babies having tantrums to teenagers having moods. Oh, they're in a mood. And then we go to adults having a behavioral problem when actually it's just a tantrum that an adult never stops having because they have punished their inner child, locked it away in prison, and they don't allow it to come out and play and they don't honor it or love, or love it. And that's what I call self-love. Self-love is honoring the little child within you. You'll know if you do because you'll, your life will be mainly filled with joy. Meanwhile, the average person only spends 2% of their life in joy. 
the average person, meaning the majority. All right, so you can either fly like an eagle or gobble with the turkeys. I mean, seriously, in the majority of the population, how much of the actual conversation is something that we truly need to hear? Because most people are just passing on BS. What's that? Dysfunctional belief systems that are created by the media, okay, being TV, the newspaper, uh, the medical system, the dental system, the schooling system, and a lot of other systems, all right? And there's only one system you need to look after, and that's your body system, your digestive system. That's the only system you need to pay attention to. Okay, so understand that the conscious mind is, is not that strong. It's, it's what you see the most, but the subconscious mind is 10,000 times more powerful than your conscious mind. That's why you have to repeat so often, okay? And the other thing is, is what, we're, what is the greatest gift we were given from God? Imagination, because what did I tell you? You see everything in an image before you have a thought. You always have a thought before you have what? An emotion. You always have an emotion before you create something. So if you have a beautiful emotion, you're creating happiness. If you don't have beautiful emotions, you're creating sadness for yourself and everybody else around you. Yes, we have a responsibility. We create a ripple effect. <clears throat> All right, so A equals your desire. Z equals the desire delivered and everything in between universal consciousness is responsible for that. So if you are the type of person who's really analytical and you've got to figure out all the steps, all right, and you've got to be in charge, well, I really, really don't want to be inside your mind because that's called a monkey mind and I wouldn't want to be part of your family because you must drive your family nuts because people who have to be in control and master everything don't truly have faith. And you can tell me that, oh yes I am, I'm part of this religion. But I know, that's great, I'm glad you are. But do you have faith in yourself? Do you have faith in your creator? Do you have faith that you are connected to your source that all you need to do is decide what you want, picture yourself already there, in it, getting it, got it and see yourself, what you're wearing, who you're talking to, because everything is about imagination. Did you ever tell your children, okay, stop daydreaming, get real. Well, there, there's the, the worst thing you could have done. Hey, what are you dreaming about? Oh, I was just dreaming about being a cowboy. You know, I can remember when I was in school, by the time I was 12 years old, Okay, that's it, Daryl. You're staying after class because you were daydreaming. Did you get what I just said? Yeah, I did. So what did I say? Did you get the Elberger question that I just talked to you about? No. Why would I? Who else? Why would I? That's not my passion. Could I say that back then? No, that's not my passion. That's not going to be my purpose. I told my children, you know, just try to get through this stuff at high school right now. Just try to get through it. We homeschool most of the time, but I said... When we couldn't, I said, just get through this stuff because when you're done, don't worry about how much you had to excel in learning all this stuff you're never gonna use. Just decide what your passion and purpose is and guess what, you'll have the greatest life. Because how many people do you know that they push their kids through college, university, and then they, they didn't even do the diploma. They didn't even do the diploma that they got or they're miserable to this day. So I would rather my son Jara said I wanted to be a dancer and then his mother said well if he is a dancer he may not make good money he probably won't because dancers don't and I said no he will be a dancer and he'll make great money we are what we focus on end of story <laughs>